Good morning. Bit of a grey one. We're off today on a um, little wee lad's birthday on a drive-by. Done a couple of them before. See the little face light up. We've got to go at Colchester, so we're going to rendezvous with Essex petrol heads at um, Boron petrol station. Then we all head on over to somewhere near Colchester Football Club's ground, where we'll meet the dad of said little boy, and then all convoy onto the house. So, um, should be a good one. Let's get the car out. Right, car's out, warming up. See you on the road. Right, this is where we need to meet. Just at the back here in the lorry park. We'll see who's, um, who's here. Who's here. I hastily put that bracket up. I'm not sure I like it there. I've put you in a better position today so you can see more of what's going on. Like you see the, the little lad's face and that. If they normally light up when they see all the cars. You might be disappointed loads of cars have turned up. Who knows? Am I first here today? Looks like I am first here today. On our way, our beloved leader, Lee up front there in the Gulf, was late. So I was the only one at the venue at the first meeting point. We're now heading down to somewhere near Colchester Football Club to meet the father of the child, birthday boy, and um, anybody else that's turned up. So it's turned into a little bit of a rush this morning but not from my perspective. But it's a nice dry winter's day, so what more do you want? Now it looks like we're gonna hit some traffic. Yeah, it's got, I got there at quarter or well, just before quarter past nine at the meeting point and uh, normally they're on the ball sometimes already there so I was quite surprised to be first there then as the time ticked on we got closer and closer to half past which was the time we were due to leave there and I thought well I didn't know whether the event had been cancelled or what so I thought well I'll give it an extra five or ten minutes and if not, then I'll head home again. Because I didn't want to risk coming all the way down to Colchester if it had been cancelled. All right, we're just coming up to the uh, meeting point, second meeting point. There's the football stadium over there to the right. And I think we're gonna go round the roundabouts over the bridge and then do a left. This lot. Well, we've got quite a big turnout. Probably the biggest turnout I've ever seen for a drive-by. Good God. Who's 
so definitely don't fit in do we but with something different that's what it's all about something different look at these things liver it up well looks like we're making a move peoples did that second venue now meeting venue there are loads of us absolutely loads of us so we're going to do two laps apparently what's standing about today you know there we go kind of everything Now, as far as I can gather, we're going to go up to the roundabout up here on the left, all the way around the roundabout, come back here, turn around here, go back again, do two laps, because he's on the roundabout apparently, the birthday boy, and he doesn't know anything about this. I don't know how old he is. Although by the time, by all the time we've been waiting around, he's probably a teenager by now. Was the wee lad? Then I think we're going to all go back 
to where we first met up and the little lad is going to come down and see the cars then so should be good nice jag i'll have a look at that jag in a bit that's nice i like that Happy birthday! Thank you! Oh, that was nice. Saying thank you, bless him. Well, it's the next day. It all went a bit peaked on yesterday. I'll explain when we're on the road. Yeah, so I got to the... Uh to the roundabout where I, I now realise I should have gone right but I went left and then that brought me straight to another roundabout which then confused me because I don't remember a second roundabout I didn't even look at the sign I was going down I went down and before I realised where I am I was on the slip road of the um, A12 heading back home so on the way home I called in for a burger at the Bungalow Diner which is a little place that we do a monthly meet at I'll include the burger now. And then went home and then apologised on the on the Facebook to the guys that um, that organised it. They were fine. I thought it was quite funny, I got lost. I think they understand that uh, the, the, that it does happen with me. But anyway, now we're off to Canvey Island. Well we're on Canvey Island now. And this is the uh, this is the little meet that goes on at Kirsty's Cafe. I forget the uh, name of the car club that organises this. Anyway, this is a nice one. Hard standing in a car park. It doesn't start till ten. Cafe opens at half nine. Now the car park's not huge. I like to get there early. A to secure a spot and B so I'm not keep forward and back, forward and back, trying to park in a tight spot because the car park's full. Now I have to think. Oh yeah, no, we're okay. You can't get lost on camping, quite you early. Surely you can't. Can I? Probably. But it's a beautiful day. Roads are dry, so we might see some nice stuff. Not so much of the, the pop bang brigade that we saw yesterday, but yesterday wasn't about the cars. It was about giving the birthday boy a little surprise. And I, get, I don't know what he was. I guess he was about 10, 12, something like that. But at that age, I guess the pop bang stuff is what you like, isn't it? I didn't really fit in there yesterday, but like I say, it was all about the birthday boy. I knew the chap in the green Mustang, met him before. There was a nice Jaguar there that I didn't get a chance. I was going to go and say hello to the Jag and have a look around that at the final point, but well, we didn't get there, did we? So that didn't happen. They do a nice fire up here, but can be a little bit now. Should I have gone down there? Oh, I don't know. I know there's another roundabout coming up and that will tell me whether I'm right or not. Not been here for ooh, probably since last winter. No, we're okay. We are okay. 
that's right, round here, in front of these, in here, and then we do a right and we're there. That's it. Well, I almost did get lost on Canvey then. Oh, there's a good few here already. Nice old beetle there. Slammed. There's a few bits here, so I'll wander around. Excuse the shadow. Sun's very low. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna say nicest of the day. I might want to clean those wheels though. I'd send my OCD into overdrive. That would. Conscious not lifting the fan too high. This is the sun glare. Hopefully it's okay like this. Those colour beetles there. That's an old one. Yeah, okay. It's nice. That's nice. But is it better than the E type? <laughs> I think personally, yeah, I think that beats the E-Type. It's a personal choice. I don't know if I'd have that out on a winter's day. A little moggy. Size of this. Huge. You get a good mixture here. Got a nice old trucks over here. How brave is he today in that? Even though he is wrapped up. It's just enormous. I remember them back in the day. I don't know if, that's, if the camera's picking that paint up on that. But that's amazing. That's beautiful. <laughs> Lovely that, isn't it? Mm. 
I know they only need a kit, but of all the kits, I think they're the nicest. That's nice. Nice jake there. There's a few jakes here today. Thing, isn't it? A couple of jags here just overshot, though the first one might have been Daimler. That's beautiful, that is. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it was good. Nice that one. They couldn't stay too long because they got a family meal going on. But um, nice to get out, weather's nice. It's all about giving the car a run, and it? That's what it's all about. Right, so, well, yeah, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And uh, thank you for your comments. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.